Hi everyone, it's Brandy. Welcome back to another day of prepping for chemo treatment. Today I'm gonna be cleaning my house, so I'm just gonna have you tag along with me. This is just gonna be a general vlog of me cleaning my house. Um, but first I'm gonna start with a smoothie to start my day. I have some frozen um, fruits that I wanna get rid of before I start chemo on Monday. So let's get started. Okay, you guys, this is my smoothie. It fills up this whole cup of like, what is this? This blender bottle um, cup. Um, if you're wondering what I was using to as a liquid for the smoothie, I actually use either like a tea or water, um, but lately I've just been doing a tea. So I either do like a green tea or I've been using this tea, this Tezo tea that my friend sent me in a care package. It's called the Organic Peachy Green. It's super good. I'll link it below if you're interested. It's really good tea to just drink on its own, but it also tastes really good in smoothies. So that's what I've been using um, this week to make my teas. So I'm gonna enjoy this smoothie. I'm probably gonna drink about half of it and then I'm gonna get started cleaning my house. All right, y'all, it's been a few hours um, and I have a hat on now. I got cold, it's cold in, in my house right now. Um, and as I was, you know, enjoying my smoothie that I made this morning, I actually got a call from my nurse um, that's assigned to me from the oncology department um, to do a couple things and I had a couple questions for her. So it's been a couple hours since the last clip was actually filmed, but now I'm ready to start cleaning my house. Um, before I do that though, I did want to share with you all this product that I got off of Amazon. This is not sponsored. I just um, was looking for something to help me clean the house and I saw someone talking about it on Instagram, just like in a reel when I was just scrolling. So I actually just went on to Amazon and got it because I thought it would be super helpful. So I picked up this bad boy. This is a scrubber. Is this an Okay, yeah, this is what I said. So this is an electronic spin scrubber. It's still in the box, as you can see. I have literally have not even opened this box, but it is cordless and rechargeable. It has interchangeable heads um, and a single charge lasts up to 90 minutes. So I got this one specifically because it is chargeable. I don't have to put batteries in it. Um, the ones that I saw being advertised on Instagram didn't need to have batteries, which is just not like I don't, I cannot keep up with batteries. I keep telling myself I need to buy rechargeable ones and like do that, but I don't, I haven't been doing it obviously. So I wanted this one specifically. I think it was like 20, it was between 25 and $35. I can't remember exactly, I'll link it below. It says number one best seller on here. I don't know by who, but we'll see if it works for me. Um, you can see on the back here, the different, the different, um, heads that come on it. It extends out so I don't have to bend over and whatnot. Um, it has an extension pole, an AC adapter, and yeah, 320 RPM cleaning action. So I'm gonna open this, um, get it charged. I think you have to charge it before you use it. So I'm gonna open this, get this charged up. While this is charging, I'm gonna go ahead and um, focus on cleaning my living room, my dining room, um, and then by that time, this should be charged. Um, so today is Thursday. It is the Thursday before I get my pick line and the Thursday before I start my chemotherapy. So today I'm just going to focus on cleaning my dining room, my living room, and my bathroom. Tomorrow, we'll see what tomorrow holds, but uh, stay tuned and I'll just do like a time lapse of me cleaning those spaces. So let's go. Okay, so I'm just using some scissors to cut open the tape on the box. I just pulled out the little pamphlet that has the information on it, gave it a quick once over and started pulling out the little scrubbers that they include with the packaging. It has the, the plug-in to plug at the end of it. And then I just plugged that in and got straight into cleaning my living room. Um, I started by just, you know, picking up stuff on my coffee table, rearranging things a bit. And then I went straight in to, um, you know, just cleaning off my coffee table with a little bit of Fabuloso mixture. I just do about half and half Fabuloso with half of uh, water, equal parts. And I just use that to clean pretty much every surface in my house. I did some sweeping um, and then I obviously 
after I swept, I mopped the floors as well. Um, I use this double-headed shark professional mop. Um, it's not really a mop, it's more of like a Swiffer that moves. It's really awesome. Um, I actually got it for free from a friend, so I don't know how much it costs, but I'll try to find it on Amazon if you really like it. So yeah, I just cleaned my living room a bit. Um, and then after that, I moved on to my dining room. Okay, now that we're in the dining room, I moved some of the chairs out of the way. That way I could be able to sleep under the table more easily. Started getting rid of some fast food trash, some of my um, filing that I have. I keep that file folder for my documents that, for everything that I'm going through right now. I'll talk about that in another video. Um, and then some just miscellaneous items that just, you know, get dropped on the table as we walk by. Went ahead and put those away in their respective places. I used some glass cleaner to clean the top of my table. Um, I do have a glass table, obviously. I'm super nice. Uh, it helps in my dining room that's kind of small, not really a dining room, more of a dining area, look bigger. Uh, but obviously if there's smudges or anything like that, you can see it. So I have glass cleaner for that. Um, just swept the floor a bit and then again did the same thing and mopped the floor with my Shark Mop and my Fabuloso mixture or solution for that. Okay, now we're back in the bathroom and I'm just unplugging the uh, spin brush and I'm getting the bathtub and shower area ready for me to clean, just moving everything out of there. I took some Comet and my again, my Fabuloso solution and I just put the Comet all over the bathtub, sprayed the walls down with the Fabuloso and then um, I put the flat spin brush on and I just went to town. This spin brush is awesome. I'll link it down below. I have never gotten this bathtub so clean.